Tunnel Road, a couple of hundred yards of human misery on Ben's north end. Did you want one or two? Okay. But three mornings a week, the mood lightens. Ooh, that's a good whipped creamer there, buddy. That's when this hybrid Prius pulls up, the sidewalk generator hums, and the tailgate espresso flows. You want caramel on there? Yes, please. That's a Nuno. Dose is coming. Jim the coffee man is here, serving it up hot and sweet. Cappuccino with whipped cream and caramel. Best coffee out there. Just $500 a cup, he jokes with one of his regulars. However, today's Monday, and we're waving the fee. We're waving the tax. We're waving the tax, we're waving the fee. Jim the coffee man is James Howard Tudor, who does this because he can. Uh, I ran a business in Fallbrook, California for 40 years and made enough money to call myself comfortable. And because he cares. Where's Jeremy today? I miss him. Sleeping? What is he doing sleeping? There's no judgment. Everybody's accepted. Uh, my motto out here is, uh, if you're hungry, I'll feed you. If you're cold, I'll warm you. I don't care if you're making mistakes today or you made mistakes your whole life. You're worthy of it. So just how did he end up as a Hunnell Road fixture? I was in Costa Rica and I ran across this sign. He takes a brief break from our interview to show us exactly what got the coffee pot boiling. I ran across this sign that said, but first coffee. And I said, that's me, because I love being a barista. He'll pick up a few boxes of food on his way here, spend maybe $100 a week on that and the coffee. He comes uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It's awesome, because if it wasn't for him caring, we probably wouldn't have anybody that cares. I mean, there's not a lot of people out here that stop and, and take time to get to know us, because we're all different. We're not all addicts out here or anything, but Jim is awesome, man. We love our coffee, and we also love Jim. You guys are here in droves today. It's warm enough to get you out of your tent, you know? The coffee is really just an icebreaker. It's the conversations, the personal connections that count. Do you know what these unhoused people want from you? Do you know? Do you know? They want a relationship. That's what they want more than anything, acceptance and a relationship. And that's what they get. Um, I don't care if you're strung out on fentanyl or you're not, I don't care. Um, you're okay by me. He knows most of the people out here, the good and the not so good. A woman named Leslie. Flat out criminal. And I served her coffee and loved her, but I think she's in jail now. She took a, a, a bat to somebody or something. Is that true? Oh, she got out? Another woman he calls Shadow. 82 years old, never done a drug in her life, somewhat infirmed, makes $820 on uh, Social Security, and that's all she's got. Matthew, who used to live here and still drops by on coffee days. It, it's a, a relief because I have somebody to talk to. You know, I get to uh, have that man-to-man -man conversation, and yeah, he's very genuine, you know, which you don't get a lot of that out here, so it's kind of my... I let it all go, you know, with him, so it's nice. I'm a little nutty, and uh, so I can relate to these folks, and I do. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. What's not cool, he says, is the challenge facing those who call this street home. The city plans to move them out very soon. Where are you going to go? Oxford Hotel? Uh, I don't think so. If you're on 3rd Street, you're just going to go to 2nd Street. And that game of whack-a-mole has been going on for 20 years. The coffee man plans to take some time off and go somewhere hey, nice warm for a few weeks. But when he gets back, he'll find his customers again wherever they have parked their cars or set up their tents. And he'll make mochas for them and for himself. I get so much more out of this than I put into it. You would never imagine that. Uh, I feel accepted by them, they feel accepted by me, and that's, that's tough to figure out in this today's world, you know. On Hunnell Road, I'm Alan Schaffler, Central Oregon Daily News.